Over the years, I've traveled the country to see a lot of gardens, both big and small. And over that time, I've been able to summarize what I believe are the five biggest mistakes that gardeners make in their own landscapes and gardens, and they also happen to be some of the most common. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you those five biggest garden mistakes and simple ways to avoid them. The first and probably biggest mistake that a lot of home gardeners make is not investing the time or energy into creating healthy soil. And I say feed the soil and let the soil feed the plants because the health of everything growing in your garden is tied directly to the quality of your soil. So by periodically adding either compost or organic material to your garden soil throughout the year, you set up your garden for the optimal growing environment. The second biggest gardening mistake is poor water management. More plants die from overwatering than underwatering, and that's a shame because it's such a waste of a precious resource. So when you do water, you want to water infrequently but deeply so the water has a chance to soak in. And you want to water on target, right at the root zone and nowhere else. You don't want all that extra water to run off and go into an impervious surface where it's taking with it everything in its path, including potentially hazardous chemicals, right into an aquifer. That's not good. And another important consideration is timing as to when you water, especially with lawn irrigation. You want to do that early in the morning during the dew cycle. That's when you minimize the risk of evaporation and get the most bang for your buck. And a good way to put all of your watering chores on autopilot is with an automatic timer. The third most common mistake that gardeners make is not using mulch, or at least not using enough mulch, like a two inch layer over all the exposed surfaces because it does wonders for everything growing in your landscape. Mulch does a number of things to help. For example, it suppresses weed germination because a lot of the weed seeds need sunlight to sprout and that mulch blocks that light from hitting those seeds. Secondly, it keeps the moisture in the soil longer. It's like an insulating blanket. Third, it also cuts down on the risk of diseases because the mulch is going to block a lot of the disease spores that live in the soil from splashing up on that foliage during a rain event. And fourth, it protects the soil surface from crusting over, so it allows water to soak in rather than run off. That's really important. And fifth, mulch helps to protect your soil as it breaks down. It makes it better, and that's not a bad thing. You just have to come back and remember to replenish it every so often. But if you do, you're going to have amazing soil, and your plants are going to thrive through the entire process. Mistake number four is not considering a plant's cultural requirements. Read the tag that should come with every plant you buy. That gives you the information you'll need to put the right plant in the right place. And when you do, your plants will thrive and have the room they need to spread out and up and do so in the conditions they need to prosper. And finally, mistake number five is overuse of chemical pesticides and fertilizers. Those pesticides that we use all too often are far more lethal than whatever it is you're trying to control. But there are so many beneficial insects out there just waiting to do that pest control for you if you'll just be a little bit patient. Know that they're there and they work wonders in your garden for taking care of that problem. And when it comes to fertilizer, focus on building the soil health first because when you have healthy soil, there are so many nutrients there that are available when the plant roots need and want to take them up. But when you do supplement the fertilization, look for a non-burning, slow-release, organically derived source of those primary nutrients. Because when you do, not only will your plants be healthier, but so will your entire landscape and the environment too. <music> 